Hey guys, I'm gonna show you how to create packages in CRX. So let's uh, so first let's understand why do we need to create packages. So uh, what happens is that when we uh, deploy the code from when we uh, do some coding from IDE, then uh, and we we've already done some work in CRX. Then uh, after deploying the code from IDE, it overrides everything that we've done here. So it just uh, uh, it, it just makes us makes us lose all of the stuff that we have in CRX, right? So in order to keep all of this uh, as a backup, so what we need to do is we need we need to create packages in CRX. So we, when we install the packages, we can get the, get back the stuff that we lost. So in order to create the packages, first we need to understand where the package is stored. So click on this, you will see here we have all the packages here, and you can create packages upload packages here right, like this so let's come back to the crx so suppose i want to create packages for my components like i want to keep my components in backup all these so what i can do is simply click on this components and copy this path and go to CR crx this package manager and create packages i can name it my components and give it version 1.0 Okay, and add it. Go to filters, and here I can add the tag path here. Done. Advance and advance here in SE handling. Uh, if you do override, you mean that means uh, whenever uh, whenever you lose the stuff in CRX, you can simply get a, uh, set it override and then uh, install this packet. That means you're gonna get back the pack, get back all the stuff that we lost. And this uh, meaning this packet will override everything that you just got from IDE mm -hmm. so we can sell it overwrite merge or whatever we want that's a uh, different thing just save it for now all right after that we can simply build it all right and we can download this it's gonna be downloaded in this format so let's go back to CRX now let's say I also want to include uh, this uh, conf this conf thing this uh, my boot boot came inside boot camp settings I have templates so I also want to include templates I want to keep my template in backup mode so I can simply click on this boot camp or template and copy this path and go, go to CRX and go on edit filters and add filters uh, paste the path here done and then go on general and give it version 1.1 that means now you're updating this package save it let's go back here let's add one more filter uh, I also wanna keep my experience fragment in backup mode this is the one that I created yesterday so I can simply go on it copy it go to this edit filters add filters and add it mm. done name it 1.2 or uh, suppose if you wanna uh, like update some components you wanna add more components here inside my sites components uh, let's say you added one more component like this create component component leave it for now right. and then this is my group name save it ok for now save this thing so in this components I have added one more component here so I want to update that filter right so in order to do that I am simply going to copy this and go back to my package edit it filter and add this filter again I'm gonna do this again and then done save it and then I'm gonna build it again this is how you can build the package right now all you have to do is simply install it here uh, that means it's gonna get uh, you can get all the stuff back in CRX or you can simply download the zip. This is downloaded here.
Now I can extract it. Here I call it my new components folder. Extract it. Let's go back. Go to the download folder. My new components. You can search for it. This is the zip my new components. Uh, you already actually you already uh, extracted it so so in order to not extract it is simply can ignore it right or you can simply use this my components new components and go on this and my side components and whatever component you added you can simply copy cross component paste it in the in your id folder in the folder where you are working in your id right so that's all about it mm -hmm. Thank you.